There's just a lot of things in the camera roll and all the screenshots of the things that you thought you will check. If you have one life, you have to have one calendar. And I think this is one of the coolest ideas that I've ever had. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about digital declutter and spring cleaning your phone and your computer. We all spend so much time in front of our screens right now, more than ever before. And honestly, it's getting so cluttered and nobody has the time to look for stuff on their computers or phones. Plus, clutter in general in the physical environment as well as the digital environment creates so much stress. And we already have a lot of stress right now. This video will help you declutter your computer and your phone and it's not gonna be about the what, such as clean your desktop, clean your browser, close your tabs, organize your folders, and email. Not, not just that, but I will also show you how to do that and when to do that because nobody wants to sit down at one go and spend hours and hours and hours working on their files on the computer. That's not productive at all. I have some really cool tips as well as some tools to help you finish this project and spring clean everything digital. The first one I wanna talk about is the tabs. I don't know if you saw this one, but it cracked me out when I saw it years ago. My mind is like my browser. There are a million tabs open and I don't know where the music is coming from. And that is actually my mind sometimes, or used to be my mind, and it is pretty much always my desktop. As an entrepreneur, I tend to open a lot of tabs with the intention of coming back to them, but of course it slows down my computer and I can never find the tab that I need. Needs. I'm always clicking and clicking and clicking it's not okay. The solution to keep your tabs and your browser under control is to have a GIST routine every two weeks. GIST stands for get your stuff together or get your shit together. And my GIST routine has a lot of items and only one of those items is the cleaning of the tabs. So every two weeks, I sit in front of my computer with a really nice playlist on, I do this on a Saturday, and I process all the open tabs. What happens is some of these tabs create tasks for my task manager, which is on Notion, which we will talk about. They are either tasks or projects or ideas, and I put them there, close the tab. Some of them go to my Google Calendar, things I wanna check in the next week or two weeks, so I put them there, close the tab. Some of them are just stuff that I wanna come back to, and I save them, and I will show you where I save them in a minute, but literally I process every single tab that is open, then I shut down um, Google Chrome, and I shut down my computer every two weeks, so that it can, you know, reboot and be happy again, because I know that I have so many tabs open throughout those two weeks is struggling. And since I do this process every two weeks, it doesn't accumulate and it takes me maximum 15 minutes to process all the open tabs and I can move on to the second step of my GIST routine. The second one is also about browsers and it's about organizing the internet basically. And I think the proper way to organize the internet, the websites that you go on regularly, is to use identity. Identity is an incredibly useful website. I am so glad that Identity team reached out and introduced me to this brilliant, brilliant product. And I am so thankful they are sponsoring this video as well for full transparency, but I would have told you about it even if it wasn't. This is a brilliant thing to organize all of your websites. You add your favorites, the most visited ones, or all of them actually. In Identity, you create tiles for them. And within every tile, you can insert your username and your password. I mean, who hates remembering passwords for everything? Identity keeps them all and in a secure way as well. And you can also create categories or tags in identity as well. So either you can search for your websites by the category, let's say banking, and you go to your banking category and it will open all the websites related to that. Or you can search for a certain thing um, on, the, on the search bar up there. It is just brilliant to find everything that you need. You can add notes to these websites. You can share these tiles with other people. And when you click on a tile, it opens the, the website in a new tab which is just the best way, literally the best way to organize the internet. There are two other cool things about identity. It's not only about organizing your websites, but it's also the note-taking system that they have on the site. So you can have literally your notes in your browser, in identity, you don't have to have a second system, which is another thing that we need to talk about when it comes to digital decluttering. And the other one is you can add your Google Calendar. So you can see your calendar on your browser. I think it's just incredibly useful and I'm so happy that I included it in my life. This makes everything so much easier. 
With these two things, you're good about your browser, your internet, your tabs. I think that's it. You don't have to do anything else other than these two things. So we can move on to the other part of digital decluttering about your computer, which is the files and folders. Let's talk about files first. What I do is I download everything on my desktop as a default. Everything that I'm doing throughout the week or two weeks actually, I save them on my desktop with the names that they you know automatically come with i don't do anything because i'm really you know fast and working really productively i don't want to deep into naming files and all of that stuff but remember i told you about this gist routine during that gist routine i go to my desktop and i rename every file in a very nice format telling me exactly what that file is and then i put it into the folder in my icloud system when you do it once every two weeks again it doesn't accumulate it doesn't go crazy on your desktop and it should take you about five to ten minutes which is my case every week maybe even less than five minutes honestly but since i built that habit of saving on desktop first and then processing and filing away all the files i find everything super easy everything is super organized i don't have to worry about duplicate files or what did I save it where did I save it like all of them is gone and the folder bit right I use iCloud because I lost my files in the past with external hard drives and it cost me dearly emotionally and you know like money wise so I am all for the cloud systems and in that cloud system, I have an organization of like, you know, my business things, my personal things, YouTube things, this things, that things. I always love organizing my iCloud to a better folder system that I can find things easier. But sitting down to do that for four, five, six hours is again a no-no because it's not productive. So what I do instead is I spend 10, 15 minutes every day on it with a really nice playlist or a podcast or something like that. And I spend 10, 15 with a, with a timer. I organize what I can in that time and I do it again the next day or if I can't do it the next day, the next time I can do it. So it is building an organizational system slowly but um, not taking too much time out of my day just for the sake of organizing my folders, if that makes sense. And the last part of digital decluttering and having a really, I'm not gonna say minimalist, but straightforward, really easy to use system digitally is to have one product, one service for your needs in every single area. And what I mean by that is one calendar. If you have one life, you have to have one calendar. That's why I don't use iCal, because you can't color code in one calendar and you have to create another calendar, which just makes things super complicated in my opinion. I love Google Calendar and I only use that for planning everything. If you have Outlook, use Outlook. And if you have to use Outlook for your job, for instance, don't start another Google Calendar, because again, one life means one diary system. And this also applies for planners. Um, I think if you have multiple planners, you should bring everything together and have one planning tool all together. That is gonna streamline everything. If you're interested, I actually have a time blocking course which will teach you how to get the most out of your week. It's called WOW, Week of Winning, and I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. It's only one hour, it's only $47, so if you're interested and if you wanna do better time blocking on Google Calendar or any digital calendar, that's the one to go. And again, on that one system mentality, I recommend using one system for life and business project management tool as well. And what I mean by that is if you're taking your notes on Evernote and you're doing your projects in Trello or if you're doing your team management in Asana, bring them all together in one system if possible. I am using Notion. I'm obsessed with Notion. I think it gives you everything you might possibly need. So I don't use a second note taking thing or a you know team management thing or I don't need any of those one system, one place to go for everything. It's just making, again, everything so streamlined, right? So for me, Notion fits the bill and I'm using it for months now. I highly, highly recommend that one. Also, the fact that if you have multiple note-taking apps or multiple management, project management apps, you'll probably never remember where you wrote what or you will not be able to check every single system regularly, which makes this whole organization you know, fail in the end. If you're not gonna be able to access your files and your notes really easily, what's the point in having systems in, in general? 
And the final thing about the computer bit before we move on to the phone organization is your emails. We talked about rules and automations in my previous video and I'm going to be linking that so that I don't repeat myself here for those of you who watch that one as well. But I'm a big believer in rules and automations to streamline your email management process so you don't have to you know, read and delete and answer hundreds of emails every single day or week. And this is the way to go, in my opinion, using rules and automations. If you're interested to learn more, make sure that you watch that video after this one. Now let's go to the phone and spring clean our phone a little bit. I just organized my phone some months ago, I think, and this system works really well for me. All of my apps and widgets that I use regularly, I put them into different pages and categorize them. So the first page on my phone is my daily essentials. The second one is my business essentials. The third one is my content creation essentials and then my personal essentials and then whatever, whatever. And then in the end, I have every other app that I use every once in a while in folders and I categorize those folders, use emojis to name them as well. So everything, every app on my phone is extremely organized and I know where to find the app that I'm looking for. And it's also very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. And the biggest problem when it comes to phone organization is the photos and videos, isn't it? Especially for us entrepreneurs and content creators. There's just a lot of things in the camera roll and all the screenshots of the things that you thought you will check. Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right? So again, we're going back to the gist routine. I have another step in that routine where it tells me to process my photos. And again, since I'm doing it every two weeks, it's not hundreds of photos. I can do this in 10, 15 minutes. And what I do is I check the last date, which is the, the Saturday two weeks ago. And I find that last photo of that date. And then I start processing everything else in my camera roll. What I mean by processing is, first of all, if it's a screenshot of an idea or a task or a product, I take it and I put it in my Notion shopping list, idea list, task manager, whatever, right? The other part is obviously the cool photos that you want to keep. I put them in a folder which says faves to use later. Um, so they're there, I can use them. The ones that I want to post to Instagram, I put them on my Planoly. So yeah, you can keep them in your camera roll, but you don't have to. They're in Planoly uploaded there. And finally, and I think this is one of the coolest ideas that I've ever had about this. I have an outfits folder. Some mornings when I get ready and I put my clothes on, I feel great in my clothes. I feel like I am going to kill the day. I just feel good in my clothes. And what I do then is I take a photo of that outfit and I save it in the outfit folder. This is my go-to folder when I need to pack for trips or when I am in a rush to leave and I don't want to, you know, think about or I don't have the time to put an outfit together. I just go to that folder and I pick one of those outfits. It made my getting ready time so much less and I also don't have to think that, you know, I don't have anything to wear because I do. Clearly, I have a lot of good combos and I use this outfits folder a lot, honestly, more than I'd like to admit. I, I use it pretty much every week. This whole phone photos or organization and processing thing you can do while watching Netflix as well. You don't have to sit down for that. Since it's on the phone, you can do it from your couch. And that's it. Those are my ideas for decluttering your computer and your phone and organizing your digital life. I hope you found the tips useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you check identity. I'm going to leave the links in the description box as well. It's going to make your life so much easier. I promise. And I will see you next week with a new video. Until then, take care. Bye.